Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Gold Cup or Bust. That can be picked up at the community notice board in Costa del Sol. So let's head over there. And we'll go to the rent a bird stables. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. Choco Bag for rent. Passengers are present. Whoa! I'm in the front. Yeah. All right, so here's our notice board. Gold cup or bust. The client is Billy. Location, the Gold Saucer, Chocobo Square. Hey Cloud, if you're reading this and I haven't told you in person yet, we got permission to race in the Gold Cup. It's a major racing event and a real honor, believe me. When you're ready to challenge the best of the best, I'll be waiting for you in Chocobo Square. All right, we will take the job. And we're going right back to the Gold Saucer. We just can't stay away. And let's head to Chocobo Square. Where would you like to go, Kubo? And away we go! We've arrived at your destination! Let's instant Chocobo Race fans! In the mood for more competitive thrills? Swing by the Coliseum tomorrow to get your fill! The stakes have never been higher, folks! This is a must-see match! The identity of the Gold Saucer is riding on a fight between Dio and the Dawn? Wait, for real? They're gonna change the Gold Saucer's name? Station Chocobo Race Fans! In the movie. Alright, and Billy's right over here. Oh! Hey, Cloud! Got some news! Apparently, the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the Gold Cup! So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. Ready to ruffle some feathers in the gold cup? Ready to ruffle some feathers in the gold cup? Okay, let's register. Which of these races will you be competing in? The Gold Cup. The Gold Cup is now available to gold rank jockeys. This pinnacle of Chocobo racing is run over three legs, and the jockey with the most total points after all three takes home the cup. Try to decimate the competition by placing first in all three races, which will earn you a flawless victory. All right, so it kind of lied. The Gold Cup is not actually available because we need to be gold rank. So we're gonna do some grade two races. Three lap races held on long tracks against the best of the best. You must be at least silver rank to compete, which we are. So we're gonna start with the Afrit Blaze, the perfect showcase for those who are red hot passionate about winning. Hop on these circular springboards to soar over any pesky obstacles. And this will give an ether and 140 GP. All right, we are going to bring Selena. As she trained by balancing on the open waters of the Nebel region, Selena is able to hold her own when hit. She is not, however, adept at accelerating or rounding corners. And her ability is Choco Bubble. Once the gauge is full, gain the ability to fire a watery blast that homes in on its target. So homing on the target is pretty awesome. But only one shot. So, you know. Bird shot or choco bubble depends on how good your aim is as to which one is better. So, we're taking Selena. Uh, let's check out our new Sarin Helm. Headgear crafted from assorted pieces of reptilian anatomy. It gives smart birdie increases intelligence. But we're going to stick with the Merc Cap. Then we also picked up the Saurian armor. Chest protection crafted from assorted pieces of reptilian anatomy. It gives back of the pack 
slightly increased speed if placed seventh or lower. So I don't like that because it is only good if you're doing badly. So that's kind of weird. So we'll stick with our Gee Cloak. And uh, I think that's everything that's new. We're going to keep using the Mystical Anklets. So let's begin. Here we go. Let's try not to get jostled early on and keep our speed bonus. Just lost one. And okay, that one didn't work against me. Oh, almost popped him, but we're good. Speed four now. Now we've got these like jump pad things. Now be careful, I think if you go in right behind another rider, you'll have to wait and it'll really mess up your flow. Oh, and my ability is Choco Jump, which I've only found that to be useful when uh, the Cactuar gates are up. So you can jump right over them, which is pretty awesome. But other than that, I haven't really found it useful. Up in that speed. We're up to six. Uh, let's go to the speed path. Oh, jeez. Well, lost one of my speed, but we're good. We're up to eight. And lap one complete, we've got first place. Get away from me, don't you dare bump me. I need my speed. All right, well I don't think anyone's gonna be able to compete with me when I've got max speed. The, the trick is just getting to max speed. Oh, well, I stand corrected. They are right with me. Dash. So, you can see as we move up in ranks for these races, the competition gets better and better. So, on the bronze races, we would have left everyone in the dust by now, but... They're sticking with me. I'm not gonna risk getting hit by those boxes. We're just gonna take the safe route. And you can see these courses are fairly long. And our second lap was almost five seconds faster. Not too shabby. And they are still right with me. I can't seem to shake them. Tried to get that dash, couldn't do it, and he just jumped right in front of me. What the heck? Get out of here.
got max speed and he chased me down. That's crazy. Alright, they're still right on my tail. Can't let up. So I'm gonna go for the dashes. Whoa, that was close. No dash for me. But we are gonna take home the win. With a jump. Okay, that was four minutes and 51 seconds. We got our rewards. Promoted gold. You can now compete in the gold cup, but we're gonna keep knocking out these races. So let's do the Shiva Ice Fields, a race designed for strategists with ice in their veins and drifting on the brain. If you find the chilling water troublesome, use the ramps to jump over it. And this will give a high ether and 150 GP. Selena, you're back in. Here we go. Right. As usual, just gonna try to get as much speed early on as possible and put a gap between me and the rest so then I don't have to worry about getting bumped. Oh, just barely squeeze through that. Those dang gates, always a problem. Already up to speed six, let's dash away. Oh yeah. Oh, and our ability is speed burst. So let's just make as big of a gap as possible. We don't want anybody catching us on this race. Watch out for the bombs, whoa. Okay, lap one complete, and we've already made a little bit of a gap on the competition. Nothing too crazy, but it's something. through the gates. We do have two bursts. We also have, or two dashes, and we also have our speed burst. We'll use speed burst now. Oh, I am flying. All right, yeah, you can see that gap growing. We're doing well. Bombs. All right, lap two complete and not that much faster. About the same, about the same time. Second faster. Speed burst. Oh no! All right, we're just gonna wait for this to open back up. And it's a good thing we built that lead because we didn't even lose it. But now we can't really make any more mistakes, but we are through the gates, so we should be okay. Plus the dashing. Oh yeah, just looked at the mini map. We still have a huge gap. That's why it's so important to get out early and make a big lead if you can, because if you make a mistake, but if you get really bad timing on the gates, then uh, you can recover and it'll be fine. All 
Speed burst. for those bombs. I don't think we'd be able to recover from another one. If we got stopped again, we'd be in some major trouble. But we did not, and we're going to pick up the win. Three minutes, 41 seconds. All right, moving on to the Leviathan Riptide. A race with lead changes as volatile as tempestuous ocean swells. Memorize the placement of each obstacle to navigate these rough waters with ease. This will give a dry ether and 190 GP. Oh, and is this our first gold race? I haven't been paying attention. This might be our first gold race. Which means the competition is going to be even harder and the obstacles are going to be more difficult to deal with. So things are going to be ramping up. So it's going to be even harder to get out to early leads. Ah, jeez. Especially when we run into stuff. Huh? That tends to be problematic. We're picking up these uh, speed boosts though, and speed burst is our special ability again, so that's nice. Definitely not a bad special ability to pick up. Now we do have a shortcut over here we can use. Looks like I was the only one that did it. All right, here we go. Ooh, tight squeeze didn't quite make it. That's gonna unfortunately set us back. It's like we never even used the shortcut. Ooh. Lena's turning leaves a bit to be desired. All right, speed burst. All right, well, despite Problem. Oh, we missed the uh, shortcut there. Despite the problem, we are doing okay-ish. No, actually, we're back in there. Definitely not our finest lap, but we're not that far out of it. Let's just focus. We've got our speed up to 10, so we've got what we need to catch up. Assuming we don't get bumped too much. Speed burst through here. All right, so we're back in fifth. We've got a lot of ground to make up, but we do have the shortcut. And we do have the speed this time where we should be able to take advantage of the shortcut instead of coming up short. And made it. All right, and we're back on the tail of first. It's like we never left. Let's speed burst, try to track him down. Oh, and almost forgot about this shortcut, but not this time. All right, going into the final lap, that was 15 seconds better than the last lap. Jeez, what an improvement. That's why we managed to get back into first. All right, let's go ahead and use the speed burst here. Help us get through that water. We'll take the uh, shortcut again. And made it. 
All right, that should secure our win. Yeah, we've made a big gap now. Oh, wait. Almost screwed up there. I messed up my camera, but all I did was uh, let go of my acceleration so I could take that turn. But I also hit the wrong stick and looked the wrong way. All right, there we go. Fairly comfortable win. Almost four minutes and 25 seconds. Next we have the Rambu Bolt, a race that rewards chocobos who are, as, who are as quick as lightning. Zip past the competition by keeping an eye on the track's mini hazards. This will give a turbo ether and 200 GP. Here we go. Typical strategy, trying to get speed early. Oh, turned a little late there, but I got away with it. Right, these turns are terrible for Selena. But, did all right on him. Speeds up to five. Nope, got the grass a little bit. Oh, and uh, our special ability is speed burst again. It's really liking that for the random. Oh, I missed that. All right. Let's go the speed round. Good go. Weird little path there. Oh, I gotta slow down. All right. I did it again with my camera. Every time I need to slow down, I also change my camera because I'm like, it's a weird habit. All right, we're up to speed 10, and we have the lead, so if we don't screw up, nobody should be able to chase us down. And speed first is ready. Use it. I could maybe extend it there. I hear a chocobo right next to us. Somebody is really challenging us. They are not letting us get away. I can hear their footsteps. Plodding around. But we are ready for another speed boost. Probably don't want it in this section though. Selena struggles enough. We'll use it. Get an extension on it. Ooh, that was a bad turn. But we're okay. We lost one of our speeds. Not a big deal. That was four seconds faster than our first lap. And we're back to 10 speed. But there is a bird right on my butt. Whoa. Oh, what was I doing there? That was terrible. All right, well, rightfully so, I lost my lead because of that. Just wanted to make it interesting. That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. All right, dashing away, hopefully put a little bit more distance. Now 
do a speed boost as well. Hopefully that gave us a little bit of room. Right, let's not eat a wall this time. Oh, just barely clipped that. Good thing we didn't hit it head on. That would have been the end of our first place, I think. I don't think we would have recovered from that. Speed burst. Going. All right. Into the tough turns. And we win. Oh, wow. Look at that gap we opened up. I didn't even notice. Four minutes and 31 seconds. All right. Next, we have the Titan Slam, a race made possible by the rending of the earth. Split yourself from the rest of the field by taking note of what and where each obstacle is. This will give us the Hermes shoes, which is an accessory, and 210 GP. And they're off. All right, somehow I've managed to stay in the lead, which is odd because my acceleration is not great. Not what I expected. Right, let's, let's, oh crap. Oh geez, barely got that turn in. Right, let's keep picking up speed. I missed that one. I don't know what I was doing. And Speed Burst again is my special ability. I like that. Take the shortcut here. And we'll Speed Burst. Alright, now we have these panels going against us. Just try to spend the least amount of time of them on them as possible. And we're up to max speed. All right, this is uh, one of the shorter courses. Minute and eight seconds for that first lap. On that part, I really should be starting on the left, but I keep going to the right. Speed burst. Oh, and we'll take the shortcut. Let's just build as big of a gap as we can. Dash. All right, yeah, we've made a little bit of a gap there. That's good. Probably room for one mistake if we need it. Oh, I missed that. All right, we're going to the left this time. There we go. That's much easier. Speed burst. Still have our dash, but we shouldn't need it. Ooh. Oh, it turned really late there. Oh, geez, almost paid for it. Dash. Dash again. And we take the win. Well, 
was three minutes and 19 seconds. And we got promoted again to legend. So we can now do legend races. Uh, but we have one more gold race left. The Kujata Stampede. Everyone will be pushed to their limits during this race. Its hairpin turns require impeccable drifting skills, while the numerous obstacles demand split-second de decision-making. And this gives 3 Dark Matter and 220 GP. And they're off. Let's see if I can get a great start like last time. It's not bad, actually. Alright. The always hated Cactuar Gates, and they got me that time. I got indecisive there. Oh, and I actually could have skipped that whole thing. Dang it. It's okay. I think this course has a lot of shortcuts. I'm gonna shortcut right over here and be nearly in first place. Alright, catch more gates. Got it. And we jump out into the lead. Oh, I thought. Jeez, I'm so bad at deal with those gates. But we covered from that one really quick. That was not too bad. Alright, I've already screwed up two gates on the very first lap and somehow I'm right there. Oh, this is a really bad turn sequence for Selena though. I should not have dashed there. Oh, and we've got bird shot. Take that. Oh, I missed. Successfully navigated that one. And we're jumping back out to the lead. And we'll dash away to make it a little more comfortable. And Birdshot's ready if anybody tries to pass me. All right. Oh, I did it again. I could have just skipped those like he did. That's right, he gets Birdshot. And I'm back to 10 speed. Keep forgetting about that shortcut at the start. All right, we've got the dreaded Cactuar Gates, but we managed them just fine this time. Woo, that was close was just starting to close up on us. All right, definitely not gonna use my dash here. We'll use it after this part. Ah, so bad at this part. I think we could dash here. I think I can make that gate, yep. No problem. And a bomb too, how evil. Dashing. So I maybe have enough room for one mistake. I made a little bit of a gap, but not much. We shouldn't rely on that. We should just make sure we get through here safely. And I missed the shortcut again. Oh my God. What am I doing? Totally, I see the gates and I just hyper focus on them. Which is probably a good habit, but it is making me miss that shortcut. Alright, 
They are gonna switch, and I'm gonna dash. Made it. Perfect. Expertly navigated. Oh, and we opened up a huge gap. All right, good. Ooh, that's about as good as Selena's ever gonna do that section. That was nice. That just opened up. Watch out for that bomb. He was out for blood. And we're gonna take home this win. Four fifty-two. Alright, now we move into our first legend race, the Odin Straits. Held on the track where Sleipnir is said to have run. Make like the mythical horse and ride like the wind, all the while deftly navigating the myriad hazards that dot the course. And this will give Hyperion's helm and 260 GP. And here we go, our first legend race. Well, the competition's gonna be extremely good now. Oh. Mess that up. Oh crap. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to the grass for a second. We're off to a rocky start. Try not to let them get too far ahead of us here. Picking up lots of speed, which is great. Not the best place to have used my dash, but I went for it. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, actually. Did I just miss a shortcut or something? It looked like he just went off course. No, I think he just got confused or something. That was weird. Alright, and we end the first lap in the lead. Always a fantastic place to be. Alright, so we maximize their speed. Probably don't want to take that ramp anymore. Okay, I hear a bird right on my tail. Hard to tell on the minimap, but it sounded like there was one right on me. I dashed here last time, I'll do it again. I don't know what that guy was doing last time. Alright, we finished lap two, and I think we maybe opened up just the tiniest little gap. They're not letting me get away, though. They're keeping me in their sights. Because they're legends. But I did indeed open up just the little bit of a gap.
Yeah, that's crazy, the way they're keeping up with me. I would think this level of racing would have given me a bitter, a bigger gap than what I've got, but nope. Sticking right with me. And we take the win. It was four minutes and two seconds. We got Hyperion's helm. All right, next we have the Alexander Siege. A race as challenging as it is imposing. Storm the gates and lay waste to the competition by evading each obstacle and leaving them in the dust. This will give Hyperion's armor and 270 GP. And let's check out that helmet that we got. Because I believe it's actually quite nice. Yeah, you can see we'd lose some speed. But not a ton, and we would gain a lot of acceleration. Plus, the uh, ability strong finish. Enhance all abilities upon entering the final lap. It doesn't sound that great, but it's actually a pretty noticeable difference. So it's really good to have that for the last lap, I'd say. And it's headgear crafted for the renowned king of the racetrack. All right, we will use it. Which means we're gonna have Choco Bubble every time. Which is a good ability. We can shoot down anyone who passes us. All right, let's see that acceleration. I wanna see it. Keep me ahead of these people. Pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing a huge difference on that acceleration. They are just very fast. Ah, jeez, what's that? I think this is gonna switch on us. Yep. We're getting bumped like crazy. It's just eating up our speed. That's why we've only got speed of two. All right, let's go this way. We do have the Choco Bubble. Or at least we will. Did manage to. Oh, yeah. That got me good. Oh, bump there. Alright, let that fly. Right, we're gonna take the shortcut over here. I hope I have enough speed for it, though. I'm a little worried about that. I don't have a dash to help. Let's see. Do I have enough? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I made it. But it ate all my speed in the process, so was that worth it? I don't know. We gotta get more speed. But we've got first place in our sights. It's good. Oh, I went through them, seriously. Oh good, I got that. I up the speed four, that helps. Bombs on the prowl. Just hoping to get that dash. Wasn't meant to be. I'm going for it. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we should have the speed this time for that shortcut. Let me get to it. Choco Bubble's ready, but I don't want to use it on second place. That's reserved for first place. I had to slow down for just a second there to make that. 
We're getting close to first. Hopefully, I can hit off my bubble. Let's just try it right here. Hopefully, that gets him. Alright, so we've got the speed this time. We should. And we got it. Alright, beautiful. Alright, final lap. We've got the lead. We've got the 10 speed. We've got a dash. We've got everything we should need. I was hoping to have a choco bubble too, just in case, but it wasn't meant to be. Watch out for the bombs. Don't trust them. Oh, that's gonna switch back. Yep. I probably should have went the dash way, but we got a choco bubble ready. Okay, navigated the gates. Take the shortcut because we know we've got the speed. We'll dash just for good measure. And got it. Alright, we take the win. Four minutes, 43 seconds. We got Hyperion's armor. Alright, next we have the Phoenix Trial. Run on a track that, like its namesake, veritably arose from the ashes. Survive this trial by fire and overcome the many obstacles placed throughout to become a living legend. And this will give Hyperion Shin Guards and 280 GP. So, is the Hyperion's press plate good? Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Chest protection crafted for the renowned king of the racetrack. It has final push, increases speed during the last lap. I don't know if I want that. Although, ooh, wow. Look at the speed increase from the gi armor, though. Loses a little bit of acceleration. Cornering and strength get better. What am I giving up with the gi? Damage control? All right, we gotta go Hyperion's armor. I can't pass that up. And plus extra speed on the last lap is nice. We'll take it. Hopefully we get out to a strong start. Maybe not the strongest start. But look at that flight. All right, we're in first. We were in first. We short-lived. Some obstacles, he just ate that. Alright, we're going for a long flight here. Oh, my choco bubble's running. Alright, getting that speed up. Good, good. Oh no! That was a little crazy. Now right, we got these big old blocks in the way. We should be able to navigate through like that. Perfect. And we are at max speed. And lap one is complete. But haven't opened up a gap yet. Alright. 
screwed that up. But we do have the Choco Bubble. If he's still in front of me, I'm gonna nail him, but he's not. He gets nailed. And we got another Choco Bubble ready to go. Nobody's passing me. Just keep getting Choco Bubbles. Oh crap, I went in the center. Oh, that was almost bad. Alright, this part I don't like. Ah, jeez, and that's why. But we've got a Choco Bubble! Choco bubbles ready again if needed. Back to full speed. There's somebody right behind me. Alright, I'm not gonna make the mistake on this part again. I'm screwing this one up. There we go. That one's been throwing me off. Hopefully, this will open up a little bit of a gap. Get the dash. No, we can't. Alright, we probably could have, but I'm not gonna risk it. No need, we're doing just fine. Like I said, if anyone tries to pass me, they're gonna get a very nasty choco bubble. Oh god. I don't know why that part gets me. Oh wow, I've opened up a huge gap at some point. Alright. Maybe it's that choco bubble I nailed him with. All right, despite that one section I hate, we got our first. Four minutes and 13 seconds, we got those shin guards. We'll see if those are any good, because we've been taking all the other ones. All right, and that just leaves the Bahamut Skirmish. Rising to the challenge in this race, held on the site of an ancient draconic power struggle, requires expertly honed skills and an intricate knowledge of obstacle placement. And this gives time materia earrings. Not the best, but... Okay, 300 GP as well. All right, so let's take a look at these shin guards. So here's the stats on ours, pretty good. And where are they hiding, right here. I'm not seeing a huge difference in those stats. Maybe a little less speed and a little more acceleration. Lake protection crafted for the renowned king of the racetrack, and it's got dash longer on it. Increases dash duration. Oh, cornering though. Look at the cornering. Ooh. Oh, that's a massive increase to cornering. At not. Okay. Yeah, we gotta do it. We've gotta do it. They're too good. Those are fantastic stats. And we're off. It's so hard to get a good start on these legend races. Oh, I could have skipped. Dang it. I should have. Missed that. Alright, we've got obstacles all over the place. 
If we can get a choco bubble, we could just ruin this guy's day. Got a dash, and apparently our dash is better. Go ahead and do that. All right, so we managed to get the lead. We got a shortcut here. Pretty significant shortcut. And another dash. And a dash through here. I can't remember if this course has any gates. I hope not. I hate those gates. And there they are. Oh, jeez, I hit the block? Really? Of all the things I thought would get me, a block was not one of them. All right, well, he didn't get too far away from me, and I've got some dashes. Barely avoided the same fate he had. Alright, we're back up to 10 speed. We've got a fairly comfortable lead. I'm gonna take the shortcut this time. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. Alright, we made it through. Choco bubble ready in case anybody wants to mess with us. Oh, I missed that dash. Oh, well, I didn't want to take this, but I guess that's what we're doing. Wasn't that bad, actually. Maybe I should take that again. Taking this shortcut. Right, bombs. Stay away. Ooh, squeeze through. Ooh, that got a little rough. Switching gates, perfect. Perfect. Oh, missed that boost. Right, we gotta use these dashes at some point. All right, dash. And I've opened up a little bit of a gap, not a ton. But I'll take what I can get, because especially on that gate section, it gets nasty. Whatever I can get, I'll take it. Right, and through there. And dash here. Oh, I opened up a huge gap. When did that happen? Let's just focus though. Those gates can cause any gap to disappear like instantly. We don't want that happening to us. Right, I'm gonna take this again. It worked pretty well last time. Right, take the shortcut. I'm gonna dash through just to make sure we hit that gap. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright. We're coming up to the evil gates. I made it through that. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, that gives me a chance to assess these. <laughs> Just make sure to make it. I do that with the camera every time. I don't know why. All right. 
right, and we take the win. All right, that was five minutes and 38 seconds. You won every grade two chocobo race. Fantastic. All right, that means it is time for grade one. A series of three races in which points, or in which point totals determine the winner. Try to place first in all three legs to earn a flawless victory. You must be at least gold rank to compete. All right, uh, so you can see first place is 15 points, and then each position below that is less, obviously. And we have the Gold Cup first leg, the first of three races that comprise the prestigious Gold Cup. And uh, this will give the Choco King's cape, and I think each leg has its own reward. Or no, it's all the same. So if we win the whole thing, we get the Choco King's cape. All right, let's begin. And we want the same setup. I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the Gold Cup. Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Cheek. If that ain't the stupidest. Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a sting. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you a royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple, but the truth can be one bitter drink. You ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid, and I'll prove it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Pedly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance, but best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well, all I gotta do is win it all, right? Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect a decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup.
And here we go. Oh, I missed the first dash. How lame. Ah, uh, and I hit the first gate. Alright, that's okay. We can recover. Whoa. Get through there. Alright. Terrible start. Terrible, terrible start, but we can recover. Alright, so we see second place. Joe is way out in front, I'm sure. Yep, he's way down there. Get out of my way! Jeez. Alright, I wonder if my choco bubble would work from this distance. I kinda doubt it. Let's just get some speed and try to catch up to him. What's the dash again? I'm not gonna use my choco bubble on them. It's specifically for Joe. Dashing through. I got it. All right. Hopefully, I made up some ground on him. We're up to 10 speed. He's got quite the lead. Let's see if the choco bubble will work here. Oh, it's tracking. It might work. Oh, it sounded like it did. It did. All right, hit him again. Oh, look at this comeback. We've taken the lead. And we got a dash this time. All right, we're going to get through there. We got the bombs. Make that. Whoa, bombs. Not cool. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's just wait for it to open. And we're going to need another choco bubble to save us. Or maybe not. We're coming, Joe. All right, regardless, I got a choco bubble ready if we need it. Oh, we're actually opening up a gap. Maybe he learned his lesson. He didn't like that last choco bubble. He's like, you know what? I'll just take a second. This dude's amazing with his aim. We win the first leg. Oh, also we get that boost on the last lap, but he should get that too. We hope you're ready for more, ladies and gentlemen, because we're just getting started. Here comes our next race. And we're off. Oh. Seemed like everybody had trouble in there, but I made it through unscathed and got a bunch of speed in the process. That's what we like to see. All right, we're already up to speed nine. That's a fantastic start. A little off course. No, you don't, Joe. Oh, he's immune. He's got that buff up. That's what that does. I've been curious about that. Well, that seems pointless for me. It's good for them, pointless for me. Squeeze through there pretty easy. And that's lap one. Let's dash away. Alright, we're ready with our Choco Bubble if he tries to pass us. Right on top of us. 
I, don't even, I think he's so close we can't even see him on the mini-map. Gotcha, Joe! Alright, let's get our next Choco Bubble ready because he is persistent. I don't expect him to give up that easy. I'm just going to squeeze through those empty spots. Alright, we'll dash away. Alright, we did open up a gap on him. It's not a huge gap, but it's a gap. This is the last lap, so we are getting a boost. I think it's because my stats increased with the uh, last lap. Cornering got better so I could handle that. Right, squeeze through here again. That works out well for me. And we're taking the second leg as well. Ooh, we opened up a huge gap on him. Look at that. into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the gold cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top. As usual, let's try to get out to a strong start. And it's the evil gates. Late turn there, but it's okay. I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Oh, have to recover from that. I didn't think that was so sharp. All right, everybody's kind of clumped up though. They're not getting too far on the lead, and I'm just building up my choco bubbles. Hopefully, they'll eat some bombs for me. All right, so there's Joe. I think that's Joe. Pretty sure that was Joe. Oh no, Joe's way up there. The stash. I want to catch up to Joe so I can hit him with this choco bubble. I gotta get in front of this guy though. Pulls in the gap. Ah, oh, missed that though. And our speed's up to nine, so that'll help. Oh, this is where I screwed up last time. Alright, this is not going that great. We gotta hurry up. Up to 10 speed. Ooh, boy. All right, we are way behind. Oh, not way behind. Ah! Crap. That's bad. We're going to need a miracle now. We're going to need a miracle. We got 10 speed, but... Ryan. Oh, I missed that. You see that speed boost for the last lap, though, coming in handy. We're in second. Oh, wow. Look at that speed boost we got, and Joe was down. 
All right, we recovered. Squeeze through there. We've got the lead. We got another choco bubble if we need it. And we are absolutely flying. We avoided those bombs. Easy. Mistake as last time. And coming into the end, we got it. What a recovery. And we got all 45 points. I cannot believe it. The gold cup goes to none other than Cloud Strike and Bill. Final standing, one total score, 45. We got our Choco Kings cape and our GP. Flawless victory. You did it, Cloud. You really did it. You went and won us the gold cup. Yeah, I know. Mind letting me breathe? <laughs> nice riding. Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it, but they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, None of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right, till they were swimming in debt, which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. <sighs> Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh. time. But that sleazy son of oh. bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to Shinra yeah. <laughs> for their experiments. Oh. Will and Claire figured it was the only <laughs> way they'd be able to save their business. So they signed up. <laughs> while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings, that's for sure. 
they say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to, but if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Papa too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. You truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why do you make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. Knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Ah. Uh... <laughs> you had me going there. Okay, our quest is complete. And look, we got some fans. I don't know about perfect sync, but we did all right. I did hit some gates. I'm fixing to brush up on my knowledge of wild chocobos. If I'm gonna get the money to buy back my parents' ranch, I'll need to rack up more wins. I'm fixing to brush up on my knowledge. All right, so since we're here, let's check the merchant. I do have gold saucer points, so she's got a gold talon, a material used in the creation of a pair of enhanced camaraderie earrings, available for purchase at the gold saucer's GP exchange kiosks. 700, sounds good to me. All right, and oh my God, look at how much GP we have now, 6,150 from doing all those races. So I wasn't sure, um, but clearly this is the case. It gave me all of the GP from the uh, 
from the second and third place rewards as well. Well, first, second, third, and first time, so that's why we have so much GP. Which is awesome. Thanks. And have a wonderful time. All right, then we also got some dark matter, which means we might be able to transmute a new item in our accessory upgrades. Yeah, we can make an enhanced camaraderie earring. Increases damage dealt by synergy abilities and combat by 20%. It's not bad. Enhanced Draconic Ring increases max HP by 5% and increases the limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. Maybe. The Enhanced Expeditionary Metal will increase limit level to maximum at the start of battle. Well, that's a heck of a lot better than the, uh, the limit booster that we got. This one just straight up gives you a limit break at the beginning. Huh. Well... Of these three, that's the most interesting one to me. If we need, if we need uh, a limit break at the start of a battle, this is the answer. A redesign of the expeditionary metal that is superior in every way. It'll take one pirate jetsam, one lustrous feather, and four dark matter. Let's make it. Beautiful. Alrighty. So, we did it. We completed the gold cup. We got first in every single leg, and our quest is done. So, we're all finished here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.